Hey there, and welcome to Tipsy Gaming, where we kick it off with a cocktail and then work our way over into World of Warcraft. This is our first video, so I thought that we'd start off with something classic. Not WoW classic, just cocktail classic. And I thought we'd go with an old fashioned. And then when we go over into WoW, I thought it would be appropriate to get the three sheets to the wind achievement. So I'll be showing you how to get that in what I think is the most efficient way possible. There's a ton of different recipes out there for how to make an old fashioned. I am not, nor have I ever been a bartender or mixologist. So we're gonna keep things pretty simple around here. <laughs> There's a couple things that I really like about old fashions. Um, one, it's whiskey. <laughs> and two, it's easy. <laughs> so let's get to it. To make an old fashioned, you typically start with simple syrup or muddle some sugar with bitters or a sugar cube. Uh, I'm not fancy enough for a sugar cube and I'm too lazy for simple syrup. So what I usually do with mine is I usually just pour some of the juice from the cherries. And call it a day. All right, so we got cherry juice. We got cherry, a couple dashes of bitters. All right, then add your bourbon or whiskey of choice. Uh, I think typically a cocktail would be about two ounces. I'm just gonna pour it. Looks good. Uh, top it off with a splash of soda. And an ice cube. Garnish with orange peel, orange wedge, orange wheel, whatever you like. Also. The videos and things say to squeeze the rind to release the oils. I don't know if that actually helps. Personally, I feel like it mostly just makes my fingers smell like orange, and yet I do it anyway. So that's how I make an old fashioned most days, uh, but uh, feel free to do what you like. Okay, so now that we have our cocktail, we're going to go ahead and go for the three sheets to the wind achievement. Let's pull it up. All right, three sheets to the wind. Acquire all of these Kulteran drinks. So note that it's acquire. You don't have to drink them all. You just need to acquire, which doesn't even mean buy them all. Um, you can have someone mail you them. I have read on Wowhead that you don't get credit if they are traded to you. So just take that into consideration that your mileage may vary. This achievement does favor the Alliance. So we're gonna go ahead and start with them. All right, let's assume that you're in Boralus, you just hearthed, you're in the inn, where do you go first? Uh, easy, you're gonna go out the door to the left, next door over, and you're gonna wanna talk to Harold Atkey. And you just buy everything he has. You buy the Black Tooth Blood Wine, White Grove Pale Ale, Mildenhall Mead, Hook Point Schnapps, Brennan and Apple Brandy, Bitter Dark Root Vodka, and Aurora Borealis. Buy those all and you're off to the next point. All right, next up, we're gonna go to Victor Esquivius, who usually circles around this front area here. So we're just gonna do a slash tar and see if he's in range. And he is, so he is, there he is. All right, so from Victor, you're going to buy the Drop Anchor Dunkel, a Kulteran Triple, and a Pontoon Pilsner. And next up, we're going to go to Crimper Mirjam. She's at around 5544 in Boralis. That's where we're headed. All right, so she's in here. So there's our lady, Crimper Mirjam, dancing on the counter. Go ahead and from her, you're gonna get the Hook Point Porter, the Snowberry Berliner, Tradewinds Kolsch, Admiralty Issued Grog, and Patina Pale Ale. So basically you need everything. What did she just do? <gasps> She's killing rats. <laughs> Back to the achievement. 
So you need everything that she sells except for the White Grove Pale Ale. Uh, you already got that, so you're good. Next up, we're still sticking in Boralis. We are gonna go to see Joseph Stevens around 4747. He is not far away. And from him, you purchase the Dark and Stormy. And then you also need the Thorn Speaker Moonshine. All right, we have one more stop in Boralis before we venture onward, and that is to Nicholas Mowell around 5870. There we go. All right, so from Nicholas, you are gonna buy the good stuff. From him, you're gonna get the Arathur single cask and the Corlane Estate 12 year. Next up, we're gonna head over to Stormsong Valley to Emma Harrible, located in Deadwash at around 4454. All right, so we found Emma Harrible from her, you need to purchase the foaming turtle broth. Smells bad, tastes worse. And that's all that you need from Emma. I will also say that uh, to, in order to get long forgotten rum as Alliance, you do need to complete a short quest chain. Um, it doesn't take very long. You begin from Leo Shields I think there's three quests from him, two or three quests from him that you need to pick up and do, and eventually it will lead you to a specific quest with Moxie, and you blow up some rocks, and then you get the rum. If you've already done the quest chain, but you, for whatever reason, did not pick up the long forgotten rum, which, why would you not? then you would just fly over to this cave entrance here, located at 4856-ish. Go inside. And then you just have a freestanding cask of long forgotten rum. The last thing that we need is in Drust Bar. So we're gonna go ahead and hearth and fly over from there. In Drust Bar, we're gonna go to Barkeep Cotner, who is located around 2166-ish. So she's in Falconhurst. All right, oh, I forgot to grab the map pen. Mm, okay, all right, we're good. <laughs> Cheers, guys. All right, we are coming in on Barkeep Cotner. There she is. Okay, from her you just need to buy the sausage martini. You buy that from her and you have completed the three sheets to the wind achievement. Congratulations. Okay, now on to the horde side and to trying to get this as a horde. This achievement does favor the alliance. But the Horde have good news and bad news. The good news for the Horde is that you only have to visit four vendors. The bad news is that there are six beverages that are only available for purchase as Alliance. To get the ones that you can get, starting off in Dazar Lore, assuming you just hearthed here, and you're gonna head to Zuaba Sanja, Sonia, so, I, Zuaba. And Zuaba is located around 3516-ish, which is near the Zocalo. He is in the Drunken Drummer. And you talk to Zuaba, the keg master. From Zuaba, you are going to buy the Drop Anchor Dunkel and the Pontoon Pilsner. That's all you need from him. Next up, you're gonna go to Stormsong Valley. So head for the docks. Stormsong Valley, you're looking for the Rusty Blade Waitress, who is located around 5033-ish, really close to where you land. 
Okay, so from Rusty Blade Waitress, you are going to buy the Brennadin Avil Brandy, Aurora Borealis, and Dark and Stormy. I mean, you can also buy the Milton Hall and Mead. I just have it listed for purchase from Linda later on. Um, so if you do buy it here, don't buy it there. And if you don't buy it here, do buy it there. And that sums up your visit to the Rusty Blade Waitress. And we are heading to Drustvar next. So since we're close enough, we're just going to fly back and then port. And then take the boat to Drustvar. Alright, so back on the Banshee's Whale. Uh, go ahead and get transport over to Drustvar. The first place you visit in Drustvar is right where you land in any port. At the dressed bar you go and you visit with linda deepwater and from linda you want to buy the white grove pale ale black tooth blood blood wine admiralty issued grog hook point knops uh milton hall mead bitter dark root vodka thorn speaker moonshine coltiran triple and long forgotten rum so you buy all that and say goodbye to Linda. Last stop. Ish. Um, next up, we're going to go to Barkeep Cottoner. The same Barkeep Cottoner that we went to before. Still located in Falconhurst. So go to 2166-ish. Somewhere around there. And we are on our way. Talk to her. And from her, you're going to buy the... Sausage Martini and the Snowberry Bear Liner. That's the only things that you need from her. The remaining beverages are purchasable by Alliance only, so you can either make an Alliance character, level them up real quick, uh, and purchase them, which is really easy to do right now thanks to all of the XP generating bonuses that we have available at the time of making this video or you can do the whole auction house check trade something mail whatever um if that's your preferred method so that about sums it up for the getting three sheets to the wind um cheers that's it for today, guys. I hope you had as much fun as I did. This has been Tipsy Gaming. I'm Tipsy. If you did enjoy yourself and want some more videos, please feel free to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. And if you have a particular achievement or cocktail that you want to see me do a video on, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm going to log off. So please remember to drink and game responsibly. I want the cherry. Come on. Good boy. Savory and sweet, the flavor of apples and fine dressed bar sausage with a hint of smoke. It shouldn't work, and yet it does. Garnished with a miniature sausage. I mean, who wants a miniature sausage?